you're going through all these different turmoil, all this different turmoil during COVID. And then you're out here acquiring practices. Where were those practices at mentally? Where was their staff at? And then how did you help? Now they're integrating, right? There's probably a lot of questions. So walk me through that process and kind of where they were at mentally. Yeah. So uh, there was, I can tell you a ton of stories about that, but generally speaking, what we like to do is get involved with practices where there's a ton of potential or upside available that we can sort of mine, uh, whether it's efficiency or culture or just straight up, like just making certain business decisions that the predecessor, my predecessor couldn't make or wouldn't make. You know, those are gambles or risks that we're able to make uh, using our data, using our experiences and our people. Um, so, you know, we bought an office, we bought an office uh, I got a phone call in April of 2020, right? Like a month into COVID where none, mm. nothing was figured out yet. Yeah. Um, 10 chair office for sale for like $125,000, right? <laughs> and and it was like, of course I'm not buying anything like right now. Everyone's dying. You know what I mean? We're at the, we're the global epicenter of this massive pandemic. I'm not spending any money. I don't have any money to spend. And then a couple months later, they called back and said, listen, we really want to get rid of this. And like, we'll give you, you know, we'll do anything we can to get rid of this. Our DSO is going under. So we took this big gamble and bought this office. And to this day, it's doing quite well. And it turned out that like, they were just like terribly mismanaging their schedules. The staff was very unhappy. You know, every, every office we come into, you know, on day one, we get looked at with kind of like, who is this guy? And what the hell is he doing here? Who are these people? Why are they all drunk off the same Kool-Aid? And how is everyone so happy? And, you know, whatever, but like, Mm everyone's like a little skeptical, you know, but over time they get to know us a little bit better. They get to understand exactly what we're about, that we're not there to like, you know, take advantage of anyone that we have good intentions, that we're good people. And then over time, you know, I guess some of that guard comes down and then we're able to sort of really take things from point A to point B with them, with their help and with our own sort of people and processes or whatever. 